Hey, it's Zach. Yep. I have waited a long time for this. Yep. I finally got my hands on a classic clone that I was missing in my collection. A custom classic clone, to be specific. One of the sole reasons I found out about BX Customs in the first place. Yep. And how I found out about him was this particular figure, and I was like, oh my god, it exists. But, unfortunately, when I asked them if they were any available, well, BX Customs told me they were all sold out. And I was like, ah, well, it's the end of that, trying to get that figure. And later on, BX would tease that he was making the LEGO Stars The Complete Saga box art Blue 91st, which got one of those in August, got one in October, and then one in February, and well, today is February 28th which is, well, the end of February. And yeah, this particular classic clone that I was missing that BX had made as well, like, I waited a month for it. I ordered it on February the 1st, and it came here on the 28th, so yeah. <laughs> it's like start to finish, so yeah, it's like, I ordered it on the beginning of the month, and then it arrived at the end of the month. Isn't that hilarious? And also another hilarious thing was that February the 1st was a Monday, and February 28th is a Sunday. And January ended on a Sunday as well. And March will be getting on a Monday. Isn't that just, like, crazy? Like, it's so, like, synchronized and kind of funny how these, like, months are kind of, like, ending and, like, beginning on weekdays kind of sequentially like that and not, like, uneven or whatnot. <laughs> yeah, I kind of find that funny. Yeah, enough about me yammering on and on, but... This right here, this is the 13th Iron Battalion Classic Clone Prototype from BX Customs as well. He sold it to me because I wanted it. I was like, I want any classic 13th Iron Battalion clone. He's like, hey, I can sell you your pro. Yeah. Basically, just to sum that up, that whole thing happened in September. I got my hands on this, and I was like, ah, well, I still don't have the regular version of the 13th Iron Battalion clone for sale. Ah, well, I can wait. And I kept on waiting and waiting and waiting, and then... BX Customs told me someone was selling one on eBay in like a lot of some of his like clones, including one of these ones as well, but I already have like three of those, so it's like least of my concerns trying to get like another, but yeah, there was a retail slash like, you know, like regular finalized version for sale, and the whole lot was like $70 US, I was about to buy it, but even then I didn't really have much cash on hand, but I was like, I was just saving up cash currently when that happened. Then it got sold and I was like, ah, well, that was a chance, gone. But then someone posted two of them for sale on eBay, like two of the regular version of BX Customs 13th Iron Battalion clones, two of them. But one of them got sold, so there was only one left, and then BX told me about that. I was like, okay, I'm going to buy those, or buy one. And then that one got sold, and I was like, oh, well, I missed it again. And then, BX had actually gotten in contact with the seller. Yeah, he did this for me, which, yeah, thank you BX Customs for helping me get my hands on these missing clones that you had made, and then missed out on them when I found out about you. Yeah, and then he contacted the seller on eBay, asked him what happened. Well, apparently both people who had bought both 13th Iron Battalion clones, they didn't pay, so I'm guessing they must have cheaped out or not wanted them. Then BX told me they went back online. I was like, oh my god. Then on that faithful February 1st, on Monday, I did it. I pulled the trigger. I ordered both of them because I refused to let that slip by because I've been trying to get my hands on that one for quite a while and well, yeah. Yeah, now it is the 28th, the end of February. And well, yeah, without further ado, I guess let us look at them, but first, one thing I must ad address or, like, talk about is that I tried out the Jonak Toys decals, and, well, here are two of the figures I decaled. I decaled way more, but you're gonna have to go onto my Instagram to see that, which, although most of the stories are probably gone by now, but, yeah, I decaled quite a few clones. If you've been following me on Instagram and looking at my stories lately, I have been decaling quite a bit. And I made quite a bit, like, so many clones. Like, a nice little motley handful. Well, that'd be, well, 
First one I'm showing off is the Realistic 13th Iron Battalion. And damn, it is looking fine. And yeah, this is the fourth figure I decaled. Yeah, this is the fourth one. However, I will be making a separate video, like a completely different separate video covering every single figure I've decaled and heck, even a step-by-step -step of me decaling a figure. So yeah, I will be making a video on decaling as well. It's not really a tutorial, it's more like just me going through that kind of stuff. I guess it kind of is, like just watching it and such. So yeah, I thought I'd let you guys know that that's gonna happen. Because yeah, decaling's quite an interesting experience to say the least. It's both painful and rewarding. And well, the next one I have to show off is the 2020 style 442nd Siege Battalion. Ah, oh, it looks just breathtaking. I'm glad to finally have a modern 442nd with this classic 442nd. Damn, that is looking fine. Like, oh, oh my god, that is beautiful. It is quite satisfying seeing modern 442nds finally be added into my collection this way and well. Yeah, so far in my experiences in decaling, it's kind of been a bit of a mixed bag. I got a few, I got a few casualties and then I've got like quite a few successes and a few in the middle. Yeah, I'll be talking quite, oh, <clears throat> I'll be talking about those experiences quite a bit in that decaling video I will make. It won't be soon, but I just thought I'd let you guys know that because, you know, I need to let you guys know that so far decaling has not been too bad, which is good. Anyways, uh, now let's look at the missing classic clone, which yeah, I already spoiled it. It is the regular version of VX Customs 13th Iron Battalion clone, although in the thumbnail I blacked it out. So basically it's like, wait, what is that one again? Yeah. Oh my god, why did that take so long to cut? Oh, it's sticking to the scissors. There we go. I don't know, let's bubble wrap shut. So, it is, oh, there's one. And there's two. Yep. Oh, it's a little annoying notification. Go away. Yeah. Here it is, two classic 13th Iron Battalion clones made by BX Customs and then sold to me from someone else on eBay. Yeah, I bought both of them. Heck, they even come with like classic loud hailer stud blasters. So yeah, let us look at one. We will look at both of them because you know, we have to, we must. All right, oh, oh my God. Finally, I have it. Finally, it is mine. Yep. Oh my God, finally, it is mine. Oh, it's so damn satisfying seeing these added to my collection. Sorry for the general grievous impression there, but damn. Oh my god, this is beautiful. It is glorious. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Definitely worth the wait. And yeah, a little thing about these is they were released on May the 4th, I believe. On like BX Customs is like little page on Brick Bay, which yeah, a little bit of a fun fact, these were release, released on May the 4th, same day the Clone Wars ended, for real this time, not like a cancellation, but like satisfyingly ended, so yeah, all right, let's look at the second one, and yeah, oh, wait, hold on, oh my god, it has one of the custom printed faces from BX Customs, oh my god, it actually has one of the like stubble faces, one of the like, you know, like on BX Customs' like website, like stubble face. Oh my god. Wait, would that mean the other one has it then? I should check that out. Oh, it doesn't. Huh. Ah, that's okay. Cool, it actually has the like, like this is for sale currently on BX Customs' website. It's like the stubble like face, like, you know, classic Django Fett clone face. Like, it might be, might not. I'm kind of going on a hunch there. It might still be up for grabs, I think. But that's kind of cool. I didn't know. Hmm. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, they both come with loud hailer stud blasters, which I'll probably put those off to the side. Well, yeah, I finally got the retail slash finalized version of the classic 13th Iron Battalion clone from BX Customs. And, well, I have the prototype of it. So, yeah, I have the prototype and the retail version of it. And, well... 
There are quite a few interesting differences on it. Although this pauldron, I added that. That was like a custom yellow pauldron I added to it. And yeah. First off, one thing is that the tubes and the vents are a lot like... There's a lot less yellow on the prototypes like tubes and vents. While the retail version has a bit more. Oops, I didn't mean to knock you over. I'm just going to put you over there with the blue 91st. While we compare. And then another thing is the triangles on the top are a lot more like pronounced on the prototype. And one of the more obvious things about the prototype, how to distinguish it from the regular version, is just the gray marks. Although, yeah, I have the one and only, so yeah. One in existence. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty damn cool seeing this. Now that I finally have both, my collection is a lot better now. Which, yeah, is... Uh, I'm glad I finally got my hands on these, like, damn. They look pretty awesome. Which, yeah, thank you, BX Customs, for helping me track these down. Although you may, like, you got them printed and then, like, sold them, and yeah, you know, that kind of thing. But, yeah, another kind of little difference that's kind of, like, seamless is that there's a split on the, like, torso print of the prototype, while there is not on the regular retail version. And then the back is the same thing. It's just the same thing. So this prototype could probably just be like a commander for all I know. Like I could just, that's what I kind of made him into. I just made him like a commander like that. Unique looking 13th clone in the like Zepho wreck and Jedi Fallen Order. Like he has like a polar and some gray marks, which is kind of like an interesting correlation like this. Except the gray marks on the clone in game are more on the like, you know, kind of the breathers and the like tubes area and such. <clears throat> it was clearing my throat there. So yeah, oh yeah, and I have the modern equivalent to this now. Yeah, look at that. Classic and modern. Which, that is pretty awesome finally having these. But yeah, I guess this does count as an 800 sub special, which yeah, I just reached 800 subscribers. Couldn't have done it without any of you. Thank you for your contributions to, well, my channel. So yeah, thanks. I guess 200 more and I might be able to make some profit off my videos. Might be able to, might not. I don't know how that whole monetization works, but yeah. Pretty damn pleased with getting these. So yeah, now I have both like the like very first like figures, like very first classic clones, BX, cu uh, BX Customs made. Both like very first ones with the like very thick UV printing on the torsos, which yeah. Damn, I'm satisfied to have both of these. Like, oh. I have waited such a long time to get these, and well, the wait is finally worth it. Worth the wait, am I right, guys? And yeah, another classic clone that kind of was like this was, well, the DK Collectibles full pad printed 501st. These two right here, these, these were just stinkers. Like, these guys were probably the most difficult to track down, in my opinion. Probably the most difficult to track down, which another thing about the 13th Iron Tying Classic Clone from BX is that it's just a regular Episode 3 official LEGO clone helmet, just given the yellow UV printing and such, so yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. And also, yeah, Cloney Boy Archives number 25 on my Instagram will be of the... Oh, I almost burped there, yeah. The prototype, thir uh, not the prototype, I already did the prototype for Colonial Bar Archives number 20, number 16. I'm really having trouble speaking right now, but yeah. This will be on Colonial Boy Archives number 25. And yeah, it seems like a pretty good milestone to cover the retail version of BX Customs' like 13th Iron Battalion classic clone because, well, you know, it's it was like probably the most like, difficult classic clone for me to track down, in my opinion. Probably the most, like, elusive of the bunch. At least with the DK 501st, it came back thanks to DK having the bodies and then just getting more of the 501st helmets printed. Which, yeah. <sighs> I'm pretty satisfied with having, well, you know, both the retail ones and then the prototype. Which, yeah. I guess I can end the video here on a thrilling conclusion that, yeah... I finally got them. My classic clone collection just got even better. Or OG collection. Some people use the term OG as well, but eh, I'd rather use the term classic. It makes it feel more iconic, I guess. So yeah, guys. 
Thank you, BX Customs, for helping me try to track these down, and yeah, thank you. So yeah, well, that is all for now. Bye.